Hey, what's up YouTube? Mike from Mass here. Mass Aquariums. Sunday night, doing some crazy water changes. Long time no talkie, YouTube. I've been crazy busy, man. Uh, you guys all know spring is around, and that includes raking, and if you have kids, it's soccer, or t-ball, or both, and fishing, and all sorts of outside stuff. I've been super, super busy. Uh, trying to take care of all these fish tanks, trying to sell some stuff so I can get up a big salt water going, but this is going to be a quick product review and a little bit of a reef update. Uh, everything is doing awesome in this reef. I could not be happier. I went through a little boat where my Zoas weren't opening. Um, what I did, uh, well, I've added a few couple additives to try to, you know, get the tank nutrients flourishing where it needs to be and uh, one one thing I did add was this uh, Kent Marine strontium and molybdenum it's a mineral supplement I probably pronounced that all wrong but uh, that's what I'm adding and my buddy Jimmy from exquisite corals is sending me some a nice acro power which is amino acids which is good for corals but all my corals are opening up every day and they look great. The zoas are starting to spread. I'm seeing new little polyps shoot out the sides, start to cover everything. Um, I got a nice new hammer here and I couldn't be more thrilled with the way this tank is coming along. Uh, this is week, let's see, oh, one, two, right around week 10, week 10 ish, week 11, and I'm thrilled. So, quick product review. What I was putting in this tank is Chemipure Elite, um, which is, removes phosphates, super, super filtration media for freshwater, reef, and marine aquariums, all in one filter me media, phosphate removal formula. So that's what I had in this tank. I had some green hair algae that it wasn't spreading, but it was in three or four places, you know, like waving around, just like if you know reef tanks that it, it doesn't just like it's not like algae in a freshwater tank where it just starts to spot up everywhere or it covers things it's kind of like long black beard algae but it's green algae and it was staying in one spot and it would get longer and longer and longer and just kind of flow I'm sure you've seen it you know if you go to the ocean you see it on like rocks around docks and stuff like that but I have a uh, emerald crab and a couple of turbo snails in here that were you know taking care of it but uh not as quick as I would like, so it wasn't spreading, but it was just kind of annoying looking to me. You know, maybe you guys couldn't see it, but I could see it. So two weeks ago, I asked, well, a while ago, I asked my local fish store, which I get my Chemipure from, if they start would start carrying Chemipure Blue, which is this. And they did. They got it in. I went there a few weeks ago. I snatched some up, and I put this in which is a premium activated carbon plus high grade ion exchange resins all in one filter media superior filtration for reef and marine aquariums let me tell you two weeks go by and I can tell you right now my turbo snail and my emerald crab are not eating all that green algae and it's gone maybe it's a miracle maybe at night they just do so much work that I never see it but all my turbo snails, I rarely see them on the rocks. They're always on the glass or on the substrate. I got one right here in the substrate. Way back there, a turbo snail that, you know, that's not even where I ever had green algae. And my emerald crab, he just kind of hangs out underneath the caves and he just like picks stuff that you would barely even see. But it's gone. I don't know if it really got rid of any phosphate that I even had in the tank. Um, my phosphate levels are coming at zero, which is normal when you have green hair algae because the green hair algae is taking all the phosphates away from your tank. So you're like, hey, my phosphate's a zero, but I have green hair algae. I don't know if my tank's super balanced now, uh, it's all set, or if it's just a combination of a healthy tank, Chemi Pure Blue, and the right cleanup crew, but Green hair algae is gone. I don't have a speck of it in my tank. I'm loving it. Corals are awesome. So, Chemi Pure Blue. I would recommend this for any reefer out there that 
has a small tank like mine or ha, you know has a big needs they make big jugs of it if you want to throw it in your sump or if you have big hang on the backs but um, I'm all for this I've seen the results this says it's good for to change every three months I'm gonna change it with this small tank I'm gonna change it every month then I'm gonna try to change it every two months and I'm gonna slowly see what I can get away with but Kemi Pure Blue I would recommend this product for anybody that's keeping reef tanks and anyone that's keeping African cichlids uh, Kemi Pure Elite or just plain old Kemi Pure throw that stuff in your canister filter or your hang on the back this stuff works awesome to keep your water crystal clear I have the regular Kemi Pure Elite in my canister filter for my African cichlid tank that water is super super crystal clear and you guys know how Africans are they just shit 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 sift sand sift sand and if you don't have the right filtration your tank can be cloudy or it can be a mess all the time Kemi Pure Elite or regular Kemi Pure for African cichlid tanks or reefers Kemi Pure Blue I love this stuff it's working awesome uh, two weeks in and I'm loving it so that's my review I will be making some more videos very soon uh, any questions leave them in the leave them in the comments section down below and uh, I'm out